So welcome back everybody to Rock of Ages uh, 2. Um, the Grand Builder. Okay, so this time we're gonna do Holland. So I don't exactly remember who this guy is, I'm pretty sure he, I know he had something to do with his ear. And that's basically it. <laughs> okay, but so, um, we walk into anything new last time? I think we did. Um, so we unlocked the finish tree, right? So, we're going to tell us that have been used up by other defenses you've built. Okay. It's going to pick the, um, the usual stuff. I'm gonna try cannons this time. Also, something that I have noticed so far is that the um is that these are much more in the way, um, and much more in the actual path. And the knock of is for you had to like you had to like, um, you had to just like not turn or something and completely mess over like actually going fast to be able to destroy, um, be able to destroy gold mines. In this game, it sort of just has to like turn slightly. And you should deal with get with deal with the force of hitting them. So I probably shouldn't really focus on trying to actually attack them more. And before in Rock of Ages free, you just lost you just lost so much time that it really wasn't worth it. And so it's pretty easy to just rebuild them. But yeah. Okay, so this seems to be a really normal map. Also, um, I did actually go back and do, um, the maps that we've already done tri time trials and, like, tried them a bit more. Um, I did some of the shortcuts, um, which this game, if you have not seen, um, the world records for this game, I highly recommend it. It is, it is crazy. Um, I tried to do some of them myself. I wasn't the best at them, but they are very cool. Um, like for example, on I think the first map that we did, there's actually an insane shortcut where you can skip straight to the end. I actually tried a different version of it. Um, however, for some reason the um, the actual flag didn't load in or some crap, so we so I couldn't actually finish it. So I ended up just try just trying to do the shortcut once. But um, yeah. I would recommend looking at a lot of the shortcuts in these games because a lot of the world records because a lot of them like like this game has some broken shortcuts like even more broken than in Rock of Ages 3. Um, also, I I did actually I did actually get a Rock of Ages 3 um, world record in time trials, um, which was mainly because I found a different way to do one of the shortcuts. Um, where essentially, uh, in, in the time trials, um, you could, you could basically, so, in Rock of Ages 3, it's a bit difficult to explain, but, um, essentially, if you jump on, like, a destructible object, like a tree, just on the road, um, or something, or like a bush, you destroy it, you can jump off of it again, um, so you jump, and then jump off the object, then you also, for some reason, can also jump off, of, like, the debris of the object, sometimes? Um, most of the time you just get a double jump, but sometimes it'll let you jump off the object again, which means that you get free jumps, and that can lead to some ridiculous cuts, where you basically just fly into the air. Um, and I got one of those world records. Um, I don't, I don't think the same is in this game, but it, it is definitely a very cool thing in Rock of Ages 3. Uh, but, 
Ooh. Mm. Okay, so I also probably shouldn't. So th there is probably um should probably um not be cutting as much um not be cutting as much footage out because I do want it to actually have a decent amount of the gameplay um as well as commentary and sometimes I do end up um trying to um to unpause the recording uh which is how I do it and um I for some reason it doesn't unpause it and then uh that's happened several times in my series um and I uh, you don't get to see things which I will try to do better by looking over and making sure that it's actually paused or unpaused um but I will try to do better on that and uh I'm very sorry for that whenever that has when that whenever that happens um also probably will be looking into speedrunning this game um if you don't know I actually did get uh, the world record for um for Rock of Ages free and um which that game is roughly three hours and um I do sort of want to like try all the Rock of Ages games as a series and then and then speed run them um and I feel like um, these games are gonna be a lot more enjoyable for me to sp for speed run, or well, I feel like they're gonna be sort of different ways of how I'm gonna speed run them, right? Because in Rock of Ages Three, um, it, it's a di it's decently different. So this game, you you only have to win. Um, the only requirement to get the star is winning, and you can only get one star per map, or you can only get um two stars per map, which uh one comes from and one for each mode. Um, uh, obstacle and war. But the thing um, about Rock of Ages Free is that, like, for example, in a time trial, if you don't get the gold, you have to restart that map. You have to restart that time trial um, just to get the gold. Um, which means that you can mess up, that it's a lot easier to mess up. Um, and it's like, most of the time, there will be one, there will be like, you get one star for winning um just normally and then another star if you won with but with um like did something like get a good score or something um as well as winning um then you'd get an extra star this one this game's just about winning um which means that i feel like it'd be a lot easier to get um to not mess up as much and it'll be more about going fast in each track and not about come on and less about actually losing, um, or actually winning both stars. Okay, so he has the wheel, which is, uh, scary, since, uh, if the AI is anything like it was in Wreck of Ages 3, the wheel was their best weapon. Just because of how they, um, how they, how they, like, um, how the AI drives, it isn't exactly the best at, uh, at actually, like, driving but um it, it's it's decently good at the wheel like it's it because of how it drives it's more about um going slow and being faster on straights and such with the wheel um which means that it's much much better for um okay so he won't destroy us but that was very close all right so you see in in rock of ages free if I went below half health, um, it, it wouldn't have given me two stars. But this game will just give me this anyways. Also, I'm gonna try to see how having the same cut works. Because, like, I just... Like, I'm not really... I'm never really sure, like, what I should cut out and what I shouldn't cut out. Uh, because, like, I know, um, since I sort of... Before, I sort of just wanted to, um... To show the complete map once. Or twice. Um uncut then, then like cut to the end for some of the other things like of course if i do fail something which probably won't happen as much in this series um uh then i will just cut um till i win uh but i'm not exactly sure what people want to see and what 
I, I don't I don't know. I just do things. I'm sorry. Huh? Just like a new one. Just like Bruh. If this doesn't destroy it, man. Also, I should turn off my controller. If you've never seen this game before with a controller, for some ungodly reason, every single time you land or jump or something, the controller just vibrates so hard, and it makes no sense. Like, I just hear over here, just like, brrrr, the second I hit a wall, and I'm like, what are you doing? Why? <laughs> Why do you do this? Okay, so now that we have the wheel, um, we're going to try the obstacle course. Yeah, so, very difficult to maneuver, but can reach higher speed. So this is, um, this is also one of the things in Rock of Ages 3. So, um, if we look at its stat, it has a decent amount of strength, not the best. Which, um, if you don't know, basically strength is there, is how much they take to break. Um, uh, weight is how, like, floaty they are, you know, just, you know. Um... This thing actually has a decent amount of damage. It's probably going to be much better than using Happy Boat or Rock of Ages. Um, we're going to see how this one works in um, in this game. Because in Rock of Ages 3, I much preferred the Cheese Wheel. Which was basically a slower version. Um, but was much more controllable. Because essentially, this thing... Um, the main downside is a lot of jumps. You have to be very careful with how you use it. Because, um, a lot of jumps that are built for, for, um, for boulders like the Rock of Ages don't really work properly, um, and you have to slow down a lot or else you'll overshoot and fall off. Um, you have to be actually good at the game, um, and, like, decently good to, and have to remember things. Um, but this game doesn't really seem to have as many jumps, and seems to have a lot more connected tracks than Rock of Ages 3. So, uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be much better. Hmm? Okay. Well, uh, we'll skip to after I've uh, ruined this AI's hopes and dreams. Okay, so going into the final round. Also, I'm not really sure if I should include time trials since technically time trials in this doesn't actually give you any stars. Um, it's mainly just for fun. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it will actually unlock anything. Um, like, of course, I'll do them anyways. Um, I'm just not really sure if I should actually show them in the video. Also, I just realized- Oh, oh no. Oh no, that was not the correct way. <laughs> um, I just realized that the, uh, the AI has a cool paint on it. Um, y you can put, uh, you can, like, customize your character, or you can, like, pick- um, your character to be any of the characters from the stories you've beaten, um, after you beat them, and you can also get, like, uh, basically, like, paint schemes or whatever for your boulders, uh, but, uh, here we go, it was definitely much closer, sometimes you don't really get to see the AI, because the AI is sort of garbage sometimes, I, it's just a fact. But, uh, yeah, so, that will be for this, um, okay. So, let us now go to, um, a time trial. Also, I'm not sure. I don't think you really get anything from doing ski water. It's just different. But, um, let us find, uh, where this is. It's a bit hard to actually find one of, uh, where these are. Um, Holland. Okay, there we go. So, so I think, um, I think this the strategy here is just gonna be, um, like, I'm, I'm sure there's a decent cut in this map, considering how high you can go, um, if you, if you jump on to a bridge and then jump off of the, the top of the bridge, I'm assuming there's at least, like, one cut, um, and also, this game does handle, um, I think, uh, being, like, out of bounds, uh, a bit differently. So, if you touch the ground, specifically the track, out of bounds, it brings you back. But only the track, for some reason. You can be uh, outside as long as you like. And it also seems to have certain, 
qualifications for if the finish line actually exists or not. Which is a bit weird. Um, but, yeah, so. It's gonna be it for um, this episode. Uh, actually, let's go see what... Let's go see um, what we can do next. I I'm not really sure where we're actually going with this. Um, oh, wait. Actually, we can... Um, we can go, I think, uh, over to the first boss, maybe? Um, I do see that there is this gate over here. Yes, there's this gate over here, so... Okay, so... This is the first boss. It's the Celtic Sea. Okay, so, um, I guess we're going to do that next episode. Um, bye everybody!